So I had this idea to start this YouTube channel and I thought, man, nobody's coming to Brazil. To begin with, nobody knows anything about Brazil. People just know, oh, okay, there's a beautiful city called Rio, but it's too dangerous, I don't want to go there. And nobody comes to Brazil, that's reality. If you came to Brazil and you're a tourist, uh, you're a gringo, let me know in the comments. But the reality is that, for example, there's a casino in Singapore. One casino that receives three times the number of tourists Brazil receives per year. One casino receives much more than one country the size of Brazil. My last day having breakfast here in Chapada de Minas, and my little friend Punk is here. Hey Punk! What's up guys, welcome to a brand new day. Today I'm living in Novo Hotel in Carolina, Chapada das Mesas. And I'll drive around 900 kilometers all the way to Barreirinhas, which is the base city to explore Lençóis Maranhenses. Hit the road with me, guys. Already in the city of Balsas, 200 kilometers after Carolina. I'm fulfilling the tank of the car. I'm gonna get some money in the ATM and 700 kilometers more. But I came really fast so far. 200 kilometers in an hour and 20 or 25 minutes. I have a chicken coxinha. There's chicken inside. Really good. This one is good. I like it. Now coffee to keep me awake and a lemon cake. One coxinha, two slices of cake and a coffee for 13.50 guys. I don't know, less than three dollars. This is how cheap Brazil is, especially in these regions. So far I did around 400 kilometers in less than four hours of travel. And now I'm gonna talk a little bit about myself. I am 36 years old. I know you guys thought I was much younger because I look like 22 or 23, but I am 36. I went on two round the world trips. First one was in 2014. I was working as a journalist for a sports channel in Brazil. So I came up with, a, with an idea of a TV show in which me and two other guys traveled to all the countries that qualified for the World Cup in Brazil 2014. I traveled for six months producing uh, journalist content for this Brazilian TV channel. Uh, it was amazing, most amazing experience as a journalist. Um, I went to 31 countries plus Brazil in six months. I went to some countries you guys have never probably been to, like Cameroon, Ghana, uh, Algeria, Iran, even South Korea. Many people haven't been there. I went to Honduras. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, I really grew as a person, as a professional, I think, during those six months. So after this first round the world trip, I spent two or three more years working in the TV channel and then I quit because I was really stressed. I was not feeling happy about the journalism environment anymore. I, I felt like that was not what I wanted to do of my life. I was single after 10 years. I needed a change, I needed a huge change in my life and the first step was to leave the TV channel, to quit and go travel. So this was like a sabbatic year. I spent one year 
uh, in Europe, in Asia, in the Middle East, in Australia, then in Russia for the World Cup. I needed to enjoy and be happy and just relax and meet nice people and go have my time after everything that had happened in my life in work and also in personal life I was really stressed I was uh, I needed that time for me and I guess it was the best decision I ever made in my life to quit that job I could still be there I wouldn't be happy as I am now I would still be doing something that didn't make my life happy, didn't make my life good, it was not a dream for me anymore, it was just to make some money and even the money was not that good, uh, so I quit and I went traveling and it was amazing, it was, I don't regret one second and I don't regret one cent of what I spent in that trip. Well, so two round the world trips later, <laughs> I got back to Brazil, my goal was to work with photography and video, which is what I love, traveling and producing photos and videos and selling them on the internet. So I did this for a while, I was making a little money, but then there was an opportunity to get on a good job and I got this job. I don't know if I did it right or not, but it's actually a job that I like, uh, I like the adrenaline of it. And till today, like for uh, almost three years now, I work as a VAR operator. So this is me inside the VAR room here in Santos. Big match today here in Sao Paulo, Palmeiras and River Plate, semi-final of Copa Libertadores. I love working in those big matches. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but now in football, we have a video reveal to help the referees take the, the fair uh, decision for the difficult place. I'll work with that. I'm not a referee, I'm just the guy responsible for the technology and the guy who is with the VAR referees inside the room choosing the images to show to the main referee on the pitch during the difficult times on a match. Still loads of kilometers ahead. businesses I have two they are both pretty simple and pretty small one is a company I opened called Iconica Flats uh, which is basically an Airbnb uh, company which right now has only one apartment it's the apartment I have in Rio I'll have a video showing you guys this apartment for my taste it's really beautiful I renovated it completely it took one year in this renovation and it has four bedrooms, 100 square meters. It could fit up to eight people with a lot of comfort. All the beds are really comfortable. The couch, all the decoration was made in a boutique way, kind of minimalistic, uh, with, a, with a beach touch as well as the apartment. is just two blocks away from the beach. Talking about the location, it's in Leblanc, which I love. Uh, for me, it's the best neighborhood in Rio. There's a metro station right in front of the building. The beach is just two blocks away, many bars and restaurants. Uh, so if you guys wanna come to Brazil when all this COVID has passed, uh, you guys can of course stay. Just look for Iconica Flats on Airbnb. It's there, or if you want, you can DM me, uh, comment on one of my videos, we get in touch. Maybe it's gonna be even cheaper than on Airbnb. My goal with this apartment business is to grow. I wanna buy more apartments in Rio, uh, maybe in other cities. Actually traveling here to Chapada das Mesas uh, gave me lots of ideas of places that 
could develop, could still have a, a new hotel, a better hotel, or I don't know. Uh, those things are in my mind now. I want to grow the business. I still don't know how I'm doing this or when, or, but it's gonna happen. That's my plan. The other business I have is an online shop for my pictures as frames. It's hittheroadfred.com and there you guys can buy my pictures from Rio, my pictures from all my trips all over the world. I've been to more than 60 countries and the good news is we deliver worldwide. So the prices are really good. You can have one of my frames of my trips on your wall whenever you want. Just go to hittheroadfred.com and there they are. So these are the two businesses aside from YouTube which I am starting now and with this YouTube channel of course I want to promote my two other businesses especially the hosting one the Airbnb one uh, I want this channel to help me grow these businesses and while doing something that I really like which is producing videos and traveling and please if you have any doubts or curiosities about me about my travels about anything about costs I don't know please uh, write everything you want on the comments and I'll sure do a video about what you guys are asking uh, a q and I'll sure do it what the fuck wow almost filmed myself hitting a bird on the floor did you see guys I don't know if he was hurt or something but I got worried because there were some people on the road and I have a friend who travels a lot around this region driving and he says there are some indigenous areas on these, ha on these highways and that some people in the indigenous community go to the highway and, and they charge a toll like they sometimes they put trees on the highway and don't let you pass don't and don't remove the tree unless you pay around a hundred reais or something like this uh, it has happened to him a few times uh, he said okay if you pay they let you pay, they let you pass and that's it but yeah I don't know always this is always worrying so Google Maps is telling me to go and get the state highway MA020 the other apps are telling me to get to keep going on this highway the federal highway uh, which is not good but the guy on the gas station just told me that the state highway is even worse according to Google Maps whoa look at that look at that, look at that. Yeah, so this is the federal highway <laughs> that he told me that he told me he's in better conditions as this is the highway that connects the capital city of Maranhão to the countryside there's a lot more traffic and it's just one lane each way so right now I'm going at 70 75 kilometers per hour that's what I have for now Right. That's a state-owned federal highway that leads to the capital city of one state. And it's like this. This is the government. Congratulations.
so I changed the plans and came to Saint Louis, the capital city of the state of Maranhão. Uh, instead of sleeping in a small town in the middle of nowhere, because today I, I drove 12 hours, so I want to rest in a good place, in a good hotel, with some comfort. I gave myself a night in this hotel. It's the best reviewed hotel in San Luis on booking.com, so I'm gonna sleep here. It has a view to the beach, a nice pool. I guess maybe I'll stay one more night tomorrow so that I can see the, a bit the city and enjoy this hotel. Ah, that's it. Whoa, 12 hours. <laughs> Not luxurious, but quite good, quite comfortable. And there's even a balcony. I'm really high in the 13th floor. And there's this view to the beach. Nice. Oh. And it feels good to lay down in a comfortable bed. To have a proper shower after a week of just a few drops of water in your head. <laughs> Oh, maybe I'm getting old, but I like comfort a lot. Well, this hotel is called Luzeiros, and it costed me 281 reais for the night, which is around $50, and more or less the same I paid for five nights in Carolina. I paid 300 reais there and 281 here for one night. I deserved it. Well, thanks a lot. It's been a long day. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and also knowing a little bit more about me. See you tomorrow. Time to sleep.